Ciao amici, Christina here. In today's video, I show you how to make acorn squash soup. You can also make this with butternut squash, a small pumpkin, or substitute a 29 ounce can of canned pumpkin, or any other type of fall squash that you want. First, we wanna begin by preheating the oven to 375 degrees. While that is preheating, let's prepare the squash. Carefully cut off the stem end of the squash. This can be somewhat challenging, so be sure to have a really sharp knife. As you can see, this little acorn squash has given me a run for my money. Lay it on the flat side while you just cut and proceed to cut it in half. Then scoop out the seeds with the largest spoon you have in your house. You can either clean the seeds and roast them or discard them. After removing the seeds, you want to rub about one teaspoon of olive oil on the flesh of each side of the squash. I use my fingers here, but you can use a brush if you prefer. Remember to get some oil on the stem side where you originally cut. Put about one quarter teaspoon on each half for a total of one half teaspoon and place them cut side down in an oven safe dish. Add one quarter cup of water. This helps it to steam when baking and prevents it from burning. Cover with foil and bake between 45 to 60 minutes or until both sides are soft when pierced with a fork. While the squash is cooling, prepare your vegetable base. I use about six baby carrots, or you can use two medium-sized carrots. I use one onion and one stalk of celery. Cut the celery in thirds, and cut the carrots in large chunks. Peel the onion and cut it into quarters. Place all the veggies in your chopper and pulse six to seven times until you have coarsely chopped the veggies. You want to pulse it instead of turning it on, otherwise your onion will turn into water from the get-go. I know we're making soup, but we don't want that yet. In a heavy pot set over medium heat, drizzle about two tablespoons of olive oil. While you are waiting for that, you can scoop out the flesh of the squash and discard the rind. Sometimes the rind hides, so make sure to double check your work. When the oil gets shiny, add the chopped vegetable base and saute until soft, about 10 minutes. If at some point they smell like they are burning, you can add about one tablespoon of water and turn the heat a little bit lower. After the veggies get a bit soft, about 10 minutes, add the squash and stir. Mash it up for a bit too. Watch out for those renegade hiding rinds. Add six cups of broth or water and stir. So my broth hadn't quite thawed yet and that's okay. Cover the pot, raise the heat and bring to a boil. When it is done, turn off the heat, uncover, and let it cool slightly. Pour as much as you can into your blender. Blend on high for about 60 seconds or until desired consistency. Pour back into your pot and serve hot. One more thing, if the soup is too thin, turn the heat back on to medium and let it simmer about 10 minutes or until it thickens. I added some salt and pepper to the soup, but here's a great idea too. If you have some pumpkin pie spice seasoning hanging around, you can sprinkle in one or two teaspoons to the entire pot. And this will give it such a great savory flavor. 
This soup is so good paired with a crusty loaf of bread. What's your favorite squash for a soup? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. Ciao for now. Oh,